Let's start with a basic introduction to Agileoff before we cover what you'll learn in this training. Agileoff is a platform that allows a wide variety of customization with the ability to map and automate any business process. It offers powerful features like a contract repository that allows you to easily find any contract and create dashboards, charts, and reports. Templates and clause libraries for generating contracts from templates, managing standard language, and tracking clause usage. Approvals and workflows for automating complex processes and coordinating with outside parties. SOC Type 2 certification and robust security features like two-factor authentication and single sign-on. Compliance capabilities for reporting on contracts and complying with industry regulations. On the buy side, the ability to monitor contract obligations, receive customized reports, and integrate with ERP. On the sell side, the ability to integrate with CRM, manage complex agreements, and create custom dashboards. Convenient alerts for automating escalations and assignments, as well as performance tracking for measuring KPIs. Artificial intelligence for identifying contract terms and clauses, and providing risk scoring and similarity assessments. Agileoff also supports multiple languages and includes a brandable in-user interface where you can show different users a completely different look and feel. You don't need to have programming skills and deep technical know-how to build a complex and sophisticated system in Agileoft. That's because all customization is done through a browser-based user interface. In general, an implementer or administrator of Agileoft only needs a few key qualities logical thinking skills, creativity and imagination, the ability to recognize complex cause and effect relationships, and immersion in the system features to understand what's possible and the best way to accomplish it. Now that you know a little about Agileoff, let's cover the basic concepts and vocabulary that we'll use throughout this training. We'll start with tables. Tables are typically accessed from the nav bar, and you can display a new set of tables on the nav bar by selecting a different grouping from the navigation menu. A table holds records that contain similar kinds of information, which are stored in different types of fields according to the content, such as text, choice, number, or date fields. Tables can have multiple levels of subtables beneath them that inherit the characteristics of the parent table. You can also build your own custom tables which are just like the default tables. They have all the same infrastructure available to them, such as fields, layouts, searches, views, rules, charts, permissions, and integrated email. Data from one table can be displayed in another table through linked fields in one-to-one, one-to-many, and many-to-many -many record relationships. For instance, one contact can be linked to multiple opportunities and one opportunity can be linked to multiple contacts. Access to tables is controlled by group permissions. New tables are available only to administrators until they give others permission to use them. There are two kinds of tables in Agileoft. Process tables are tables that hold records that are actively worked on, usually with some kind of workflow and dynamic activity. Tables like contracts, projects, and support cases are all process tables. The other kind of table is called a background table. Background tables hold records and data that are used by other tables and are not actively worked on. The contract types, locations, and companies tables are all examples of background tables. Most implementations will have a combination of background and process tables. Because process tables tend to use data from the background tables, the background tables are typically configured before the process tables. Knowledge base. We use the term knowledge base to refer to the entire collection of tables, records, fields, teams, groups, rules, and associated data that comprise a system. One server can hold multiple knowledge bases, each of which has its own access, permissions, and data structure. An entire knowledge base can be exported in Agileoff's proprietary format and imported onto another server. Save searches and views. A search is a filter applied to a particular table. 
Users can easily create their own searches to find records within a table, such as My Contracts in Progress, or Customer Support Contracts Expiring Within 60 Days. Searches can be saved and run by users at any time, but they can also be used in Actions, Rules, and other areas of the system to filter records. Save Searches also includes sorting options to customize how the search results are displayed. Users can easily select Save Searches from the drop-down menu below a table's name. Save Searches can also be displayed in a table's drop-down menu on the nav bar for easy access. A view defines what fields are shown and how they're displayed when viewing records within a table. You can use views to color rows differently based on values in a choice field, such as the status or priority field. This makes it easy to see the records that are important to you. You can use the Views menu on the action bar to switch between different views. You can also sort records by clicking a field name in the column header and sort by more than one field by holding down the Shift key and clicking another column header. You can even drag and drop columns in real time to adjust the view on the fly. Reports, Charts, Chart Collections, and Dashboards Charts and reports are essential tools for tracking the progress of business metrics and system data. Charts allow you to present data in graphical format, whereas reports can display data in HTML, text, or Excel format. Charts and reports can include a save search and a variety of criteria to determine which records are displayed when the chart or report is run. You can run charts and reports manually or schedule them to run at a specified time and automatically email or save them. Chart collections are collections of charts and reports from any table. Typically, the best chart collections contain a selection of four related charts displayed together on a single screen. When you're viewing a chart collection, you can click on an individual chart to view the data generating the chart. Dashboards offer a landing page for your power users that gives them access to any number of commonly used widgets, such as charts, tables, links to create records, and more. Users can access different dashboards by clicking the Dashboard drop-down menu on their Knowledge Bases homepage. Admins can create multiple dashboards so that different teams see a default dashboard that's relevant to their role. Users can also be permitted to create their own dashboards. Different groupings can also be configured to use different dashboards on their respective home pages. For example, in the Contract Management grouping, users might see one dashboard when they click Home on the nav bar, and they might see a different dashboard when they click Home in the Project Management grouping. Rules and Workflows Business rules allow you to handle your system's automation by automatically triggering actions based on any criteria you define. Rules can run when a record is created, edited, or deleted, at a predefined schedule, or when a specified condition is met. Once a rule is triggered, you can assign any number of actions to run. For instance, you can automatically send emails, update specific fields, create new records, run scripts, import data, and more. You can even run different actions, depending on conditions or criteria. Workflows control the path a record can take when its status changes. For example, the default workflow in the Contracts table allows a record to move from draft to pending approval, signed, active, and so on. And it prevents a record moving from expired to active as well as other statuses that don't make sense in the context of the table's workflow. The Interactive Builder makes it easy to map your process flow and automate actions at specific workflow transitions. You can quickly add new states or use the arrows to define which transitions are allowed between records. This gives you maximum control over how your records transition from one status to another. Groups and Teams Groups control a user's permissions, including which tables, records, and fields they can see, as well as which menus and other items on the interface they have access to. Groups are defined as either a power user or end user group, and this determines the licenses that are assigned to the group's members. 
Users can belong to multiple groups and enjoy all the permissions granted to any of their groups. Teams represent a set of users who share a role or work on a project together. Teams are used for assigning records, configuring localization, setting working hours, defining team-specific views, and providing access to specific saved searches. Teams also determine the look and feel that a user sees. This allows you to place users in separate teams so they see a different interface when they log into the system. For example, a contract manager might be shown a different interface than a contract creator. A user's primary team determines the look and feel that they see, but users can also belong to any number of additional secondary teams. This allows you to define a user's interface with one team, while also using another team to assign them records or give them access to save searches. Power users and end users. A power user is a user who belongs to one or more power user groups and accesses the system through the power user interface. Power users require an assigned or floating power user license. Power users usually work on other people's records or need access to functionality only provided through the power user interface, such as reports or chart collections. An end user is a user who belongs only to an end user group and accesses the system through the end user interface. End users can be employees, outside customers, suppliers, or anyone else who only needs access to functionality in the end user interface, such as creating and viewing records. The main limitation on end users is that they are not permitted to edit other people's records. They also typically have permission to view fewer fields than power users. The end user interface is fully customizable and can be changed to suit users with different roles. For instance, a support customer would see different items on the interface than a contract requester. You can even customize the HTML to insert your own views, save searches, tables, or other items, or completely change the look and feel of the interface to suit your business needs. The colors, fonts, headers, menu items, logos, links, and more can all be adjusted so that users on different teams are assigned different schemes and see interface options relevant to their role. Communications and email. Agiloff includes built-in email integration an outbound and inbound email is easily configured for any table in the system. Emails can be automatically sent with rules, triggered with action buttons, or manually sent by users, giving you full control over how you allow communication from your system. Now that you know a little bit about Agiloff and what you'll learn in this training, let's get started. For more information on any of the topics we cover, feel free to go to the Help Wiki or the Agiloff website to learn more.